What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome on in to Console Gaming League Controller Only Scrims. Here today we got an amazing lineup of matches for you. Oh. Hyped. And you know what? We got some passion. Passion today, ladies and gentlemen. Passion. Passion for sure. It's going to be a fun one. 20 Hopping on into game number one here. We got a lot of the juicers back. Getting into legend select scan so that info will come across to the enemy team but they're going to push now on into this big mod area one is going to fly down the stairs but they're going to chase after him 2v1 and the bloodhound will go down the purple shield amounts to nothing the ammo pk shots will come out from the enemy team but they're going to push in now slim going to push in the arc stars will come out already one down the team fight's looking good the hit fire shots are better gibby is down and tur is looking amazing for the second team fight of the game and it's done atf is eliminated out of the First game lobby out team. last week here to play this time. The shots are going to be pretty decent from Young. Going to put some shots on. They have that Watson, but a scan will come out, and they're going to get a Bloodhound broken. So really nice intros to the fight. Lefty going to hop over the wall here. And just kind of stalling right now. They have two broken, but Flo will get one down. Opens up the fight. The 301. The angles. The absolute beams. Valk will fall next. And only one member is left alive. And it is Bloodhound. Not much he can do. OCE falls. Here as uh, We can actually see that Cyril, which is really nice on the map. But T are going to be taking a lot of damage. It is Jen Burton is God who is inside. They're taking a lot of damage already. But Dawn will go down. So the trade will be really nice out of Broku. Johnson Baby Lotion says we kind of got to back up out of this. Taking a lot of damage here, and Jen Burton is God going to be taking a lot as it looks like there might be another team hopping in. And it's Gear Nuts who takes the brunt of the damage. Broku already going nuts. The PK look in the first shot will not connect, but the second one will. Back Valk going to take a lot of damage. Gibby, nothing he can really do. And Nordic Alpha goes down. And DBG, this caustic building is not for them as it looks like TUR has come in and taken it with force. Only health on the two members of them, though. We'll have to push in. Caustic gas is going to hurt. And only one member of Caustic left in DBG. A 3v2 from TUR. What was that? We caught it a little bit late, but they take that building by force. They say, we want this to be our building. They can, can they actually play that? Oh, they're not playing on top. They're playing on the outside. They're going to have a little bit of trouble here as LMP going down and just absolute decimation. Broku, the kill leader with seven beams coming out from him but they still have to make this rotate is going to be a hard one luffy squad going to be looking as everyone else trying to make the rotation they're trying to get some kills before they can do anything but flow is going to take a lot of damage the valkyrie going to be putting down work on them i think this is tur and slim going to take down flow giving a run for his life but a really nice pk shot will come out from crash downs he's in a 1v1 now with the tur gibby but now it's a 2v1 and he can't get out the door another 2v3 luffy squad goes down and just look if they can cop any kills from this going to drop down at acoustic you are big you got no shield and a nice little kill from sle vex jen burton is god pressure alpha and tempest black all go down six squads remaining i mean it's tur just 2v3 ing all dang day they lose for dawn but they don't even care the nades are going to be huge here. They have really nothing to play, so Lockshot going to be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to have to make the move back, and one already going to go down. Two going to go down in the kill feed. Lockshot, only one member left alive. Probably going to have to play these knockdown shields. The Gibby Bubble will be popped for a little bit of temporary color, and TUR just popping off in the kill feed. They lose one, though, and Redwood gets eliminated. 3GT gets eliminated. That's so good for We're So Clueless. They're in a great spot right now. They have this car. They have really nice cover the shots will be good valkyrie will also be broken gibby got to run for his life but valkyrie you're out in the ring and you are dead lock shock eliminated tur eliminated we're so clueless it is them and solo qc's after three months they are back and they are in the final two here could they win this already one down newcastle looking statics takes another down they are ready to get this the knockdown shields will not protect you and solo qc's take game number one absolutely insane solo qc gets that first place eight kills absolutely nuts for them coming back we're so clueless getting that second place with seven lock shock another great performance from them we saw them rotate early we saw them prioritize that rotation and it pays off that third place finish only three kills but that will amount to a lot i mean other names we gotta mention tur what was that just 2v3s after 2v3s. They walk away with 13 kills. We are hopping in to game number two. Still World's Edge. All four games are going to be on World's Edge here today. 
Um, that was a lot hotter of a uh, ring. Zero is actually going to come out as Tempest Black in going to be in a little bit of trouble here as Broku. The shots are good. Brokalore going to be broken again. The charge rifle shots will come out from far, but Invisible going to fall here. They're caustic going down to Purple Shields, though, still on this team. They're going to go up this zip line to try and get some push forward. The scan will come out onto Bloodhound. They're trying to get as much as they scan. The Seer scan will come through, but Bloodhound will be broken. Some really good shots. The team fire. Can they win this 2v3? The shield bat will not get off. And Gibby all by himself. Coconut wins his ones. Now in a 2v1. Can Jen Burton his God do this? 2v1. The teammate is in. And Gibby out in the open. Coconut. Trying to, trying to survive the RE45, the charge rifle looking. It will pop and he will not get it off. Tempest Black fall. As Gen this enemy team is looking. Bladestorm Elite. They don't have that third member up though. So they have that castle wall. Gibby going to drop down to the low ground. And Killua going to be actually really hurt. The player that was AFK last game. But the shots from behind the knockdown shield rain down. Actually now into a 1v1. It looks like Redwood is eliminated in the kill feed only one player on top of the newcastle wall but 301 shots not there blade storm elite win that and lmp also eliminated so their abilities get to let them know and now they're forced out into one door the zero will come out gibby alt also or gibby bubble rather and they're just going to get one. R9 shots. The Gibby caught healing in the open. Seer going to be in a 1v1 with Don. And that's not where you want to be. T-U-R. Their 3v3 is so dang clean. Valk will try to get out. But DBG falls. T-U-R gets a really, really nice team fight like before this kills. They will get some breaks onto Valkyrie. And now, oh my gosh, the 301 shots are looking good. They set up the Watson for even more defense. Caustic broken, Gibraltar broken, one down, and a kill will actually be stolen. So they need to finish this fight quick. They will get the finish off. Pressure off will be eliminated, but Solo QC going to have to kind of run away from this. There isn't their team here. They do not want anything to do with it. Pushing in. They already have one down, but the Gibby Res is here, and they cannot get in fast enough. The Gibby Res will come out, but can you get that reset off of the player? The PK going to come through. An 88 on the Caustic. Going to be massive. Only an 18 on the Valk. And they're going to lose one. So it turns into a 2v2. And you're ticking from that Caustic ass. It's ticking, ticking, ticking. But two go down. The Caustic, the only one left. And we're so clueless. Ends up being eliminated Ooh. here. They're in two separate, two separate floors, though. And the shots. Oh, my gosh. The alternator from the window. I'm L. Gets the opening shots. And GGG going to be an absolute shambles here. Blade Storm Elite already won down. Can they get this finish off? Trying to put Watson things down. But Killua and his teammate are in here. They are like fish in a barrel. Two of the enemies broken. Watson broken. Gibby dead. Watson the only member left alive. And not what you could do. GGG falls. Blade Storm Elite absolutely massive Burton's god they have some kills but only two players and kippy just gonna hide in that dome broke the shots do not connect immediately but rob will take down invisible and it is not looking good rob going to try and hop up here has that pk in hand trying to look a nine will connect in the end and uh jen burton is god will fall thing at all and they're gonna play a little ridge here I don't think it's in at the moment. They're going to play this little edge. They're not going to have a lot of space, though. OCE going to be putting in really nice nades. A Horizon all will be coming out to pull this team in. Massive. Massive nades from the Horizon. If they can get a reset off, could be bad, though. They have nowhere to go at the moment. The Gibby will go down. It is Hoppy. We hate to see it. They are just trapped up against the edge of the ring. And OCE really looking for them, and nothing much you can really do. Trying to get a shield swap or something of the sorts off. And looks like we will have a fight up on that hill for that high ground. It looks like TUR will lose one. But Luffy, they only have a duo. So they will get the res off. Still, Lockshock's still alive here. So, I mean, they have that Caustic player that's just playing good. The other team can't push it in fear for losing their spot. And TUR just in the best position right now. It, it's good. They're going to land on him. And... You know, T.U.R., you have to deal with this. You have to deal with this fast. And one already down. They heard me. They are here. One down looking for the second. But they got shots coming from their backside. So they need to finish it. They will get the second down. And they are fast with it to go down. T.U.R. get two more kill points added to their stats. And O.C.E. will fall. Well played from T.U.R. But nothing really that can stand in their way of getting this game number two dub. Except maybe a Crypto Alt that's coming out to dink their shields. 
He taking a lot of damage. This solo QC, they have made their way. The fight we have all been waiting for. The Peace Carrier, we're going to come out, but it will not connect for Don. The 301 shots are just better, but he will go down here. It's going to be a 1v2v1. Or there's, sorry, there isn't even another team. So the red is going to try and be popped, but it looks like it's going to be over. Johnson's Baby Lotion, they get the gold bag res. A 3v1 now, a little bit low on ammo. Going to pop that PK. Make sure they secure that kill. And the shots are better. TUR is better. And they take game number two. Yeah, so TUR placed fourth last game with 13 kills. And this, this game, they up it. <laughs> TUR, first place, 14. 15 kills I mean that's that's a 26 point game right there absolutely massive solo QC we see them taking that second place they are back baby another really good game from them lock shock again really nice really good placement of their team they will get third with three again so Passion. Yes, sir. Saint gonna get those R9 shots down again. This is a 2v3, so one of our duos, our only duo here today, but a really nice R9 shots from Saint. He's gonna put down some good ones, but a lot of white shields all around. Nothing much they can do. Seer is broken though. Some good 9-9 shots. Oh, that was a good effort. Jen Burton is God get gifted some kill points here. Broku and the squad, they work really well together. Well, amount so. to a broken Valkyrie, and now the team can kind of push in. The team is taking a lot of damage. Pressure Alpha taking a lot of damage. Voodoo, going to be the closest one to it. Valk can use those jets to reposition. Caustic is broken. The ult will come out. Gibby Dome also going to come out. Valk going to have to drop back down to the bottom and med kit up. Ant and Die will start by taking one out, though. Seer scan gonna come out this cost of gas means nothing if he can scan through it Val gonna take a lot of damage nordic alpha they are playing it so dang well valk will have to fly away and uh voodoo gonna chase on as it looks like pressure alpha they only have one member left and he is hurt can they chase it down yes they can pressure alpha eliminated between nordic alpha they already get one down the spitfire phalanx from gear now it's gonna be as a going to be absolutely massive and they're going to be trying to finish this fight as fast as they can the zero will come out the phase the f <laughs> the wraith ult will be used to try and get that res and uh one of the members will try and hop up it is that loba and voodoo the team assist from them they're trying to get the finish on and it looks like slicky ricky going to be in a 1v1 with voodoo he's going to try and run but there is nowhere to run around voodoo as he goes nuts, Nordic Demons eliminated, Randoms eliminated, Nordic Alpha, two squad wipes in this game. Already looking, they already got one down, the scan will come through, Watson is broken, Gibby is dead, only one member left alive, and it is that Watson, they do a little bit of good work, they have that blue, but GGG wiped off the face of the map. Tempest Black, just better. Action as it looks like, uh... Nordic Alpha, they want this fight. They're playing it aggressive. And they're playing it good. They have two gold shields. Like, Newcastle is going to be on the enemy team, but Voodoo gets the opener. Gearnut's going to be going in here. He is that Wraith. Going to put some amazing shots onto the Seer. Absolute nasty. Ghoul will go down. Gearnuts will get that second kill. I don't know if they know where that third is, but they're just taking positions by Force. Nordic Alpha also putting themselves in a really nice position. Bladestorm Elite eliminated though. Down, pushing on in. Diamond play will go down. So Nordic Alpha, you're in a decent spot here. You do need to get that rotate in, and they will rotate across that bridge. They want this KP. They want the spot, and they are going to try and take it. They have to at this point. Pushing up with the 301. Ant and Die gonna look on. Styles will go down. The Gibby ult though. Ape will be eliminated. Voodoo retakes the kill leader. Voodoo gonna go down here. A tough, tough rotate. They will have this rock if they so choose, though. There's going to be two teams kind of in this area holding down. But the real question is solo QCs. Where do they play? They're playing under. They're playing the smarter position where they don't have to face anyone. Where they have this head peak. Where they're just beaming. And 3GT going to be taking so much damage. So much damage. If your temp is black, you really need this spot. You really need to hold it down. Finish the other team. The Valk will go down. That has to be your push. That has to be what you want. Two members still alive on the enemy team. The Gibby's still alive along with the Seer. 3GT eliminated. Push him and he's going to phase. But he did drag their, their attention kind of. 
There's nothing he can really do. Gearnut's gonna run for his life. Kind of just down to one. Seeing how much damage he can do, though. Man! He put down a lot of work. Tempest Black now in a little bit of trouble as they have to pop the dome. And Solo QCs, while you were paying attention to Solo, they are here. The heartbeat through the smoke is going to put a lot of work down. Once that dome goes down, they have nothing. Solo QCs have played this so well. The Thermite Grenade will come out. Static's going to put some damage down. Bangler will be broke a lore. Still a 3v3, though. Bat will be popped, trying to heal it up. No real knocks in the fight yet. And there it is, the opening kill from taken gonna get a really nice three one beams the flatline shots will come out wins his one takes no real damage and the only person left alive is a broke allure to be broken and solo qc's take game number three all right well we can take a look at our match summary after that one solo qc nine kills off of that one nordic alpha a pop off game number three eight kills and uh, third place finish. So, not bad overall. We are getting into game number four here. Ladies and gentlemen, the final game here tonight for Console Gaming League Scrims. Make sure to stick around after. We will possibly have an interview. They will go out quick. And Costa going to run for his life. Right trying to find him. Seerol will catch him. And die going to be in now a 1v1. They grab the banner, but can they get out? Now a 3v2 will commence. Ant and die is here. Caustic is broken, and pushing down to the bottom floor was not the best choice. Voodoo Child going to be looking for another Valkyrie angle. Trying to climb up, and he just decides, I'm going to go in. Ant and Die gets an opener with the PK, and it's looking good for Nordic Alpha. The PK going to come out from Voodoo. Going to be hitting big, and pressure. Alpha gets eliminated. Nordic Alpha being the superior Alpha in this landing the past two games. Bladestorm Elite, after winning it last game, will win it again. LMP will fall. Was a little bit late to catch it, but they will win it and, and come through. This Watson, I believe, just wanted to run for his life, but if, if you're not careful, there's a third party waiting for you. And there the charge rifle comes out. The Watson, how much damage can the Watson do? Just one, but the Watson in a 3v1. Redwood is eliminated, but Luffy, you gotta be careful. There's another team waiting for this. The nades will come in. Flo is going to take a lot of damage. They see the other member on... The Seer ult, though. Rampart going to take a lot of damage, but the Rampart walls are pretty huge. There's so much damage being done to them, but they have that amped protection. Taking a lot of damage so far. The Caustic Barrel will be popped inside, and it's just a massacre. Randoms walk in. Luffy squad is eliminated. The end of their day. The end of game number four for them. Now it is Bladestorm Elite and Ape who are both pushing on to each other. Diamond going to have to back up and try and get that shield bat off. And he's just going to drop down. Seer's going to be broken. The wingman coming out. The bonks from Killua. Man is going crazy with it. He's looking at... Oh, he, he just did Diamond dirty. A really nice kill to open up the fight will be good. Two are down now from Bleed Storm Elite. Gonna get this finish off, and it is looking good for Blade Storm Elite. Mad style. I can't do anything to stop this, but. Everything's falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but anyways, Nordic Demons, they do lose one, but they get one back up. The shield battery will come out. The Digi Threat through the smoke. Slither goes absolutely nuts. Two are broken. We lose the audio, too. It's good. And it's a great fight from Nordic Demons. I'm sorry. I'm dying. But anyways, they get it. GGG, a disappointment. Anyways, GGG, a disappointing day. They fall. It will fall, and Don is going to have to heal up here along with the rest of the team. Going to try and walk away from that Arc Star, but it's going to hit him. Johnson's Baby Lotion does get an opening frag here, though. Slim will get another, and it's looking like a 2v1 right now. Shots will be good. Gonna go for that Gibby Res, tries to bait it, but he's going in with a 3 of 1. The hit fire shots are good. The PK is looking, and his PK is better. We're so clueless is eliminated. Or it might be solo Q QCs, but we might have a little bit of a fight. They're just gonna go down to this car. 
as we're going to have a fight up on this bridge. Solo QCs, they had a good couple first games, but they will die on a Valkold here. So Nordic Alpha still alive. He's living his best life. I mean, a 3v3 fight will go on inside and Gear Nuts. I mean, Gear Nuts is doing massive work for this team fight. Inside, we'll have to switch over to if I can find a player of it. And TUR, they go down. And guess who's still alive? Nordic Alpha. So a pretty anticlimactic finish. It's going to be randoms who look to kill this solo. And that will be it. Randoms are your game number four champions. But, I mean, TUR, solo QCs, you got to give it to them. They were doing really really good nordic alpha five kills in a second place i'm i mean gear nuts here to uh <laughs> to do it but just cast with my expressions yeah so we'll we'll keep those matches up and view those in a second we're gonna start a party here turn it up a little bit and we are going to try and get an interview here with the members of Nordic Alpha after that insane, insane rat play. All right, how are you guys feeling after uh, those days of uh, games? <laughs> uh, first two were definitely rusty. <laughs> yeah. It was very shambles. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we we just haven't played like in a what, two, three weeks. Right. Yeah, something like that. It's been rough. And like the first two games were a little rough, and then last game, Voodoo kind of internet shut off. So, but other than that, we did good as a team. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, we played confident. well in the third game. We're good. Ready for this qualifier <laughs> on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I I saw you guys. Like you said, you fell a little bit short in those first two games, but those that third and fourth game. I mean, Gear Nuts. I mean. The the rat plays from from you guys were absolutely insane. Getting oh, you a yeah. getting you a second place. What were, were you scared yeah. in that moment? <laughs> uh, not really. I just was trying to get as much kills as I can before I went out. Right. That's like literally what I thought process right there. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. So I saw you guys running a seer. So what what kind of inspired that? Do you think that seer worked out for you? Do you think you're gonna keep it for uh, the qualifier? So yeah, we switched it. So we switched it two games in. So the first two games we were running Gibby, no Seer, but we didn't do well. We decided we need to play aggro a bit more. So we decided to run the Seer. And what inspired it was everyone else running Seer, and we just didn't have that information. So we decided that we needed it. It, right. it really helped us game three. In game four, we didn't. Get it also helped us get kills. Yeah. Yeah. It helped oh us yeah. Secure the kills. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate, obviously, like you said, your internet was a little bit rough there, but we also saw you guys um, kind of getting contested there up in Skyhook, but those final two games, you guys just winning that, were you guys thinking just we have to kind of eliminate this Skyhook team to get those rotates off, or what was going through you guys' mind? Oh, yeah. Voodoo was telling us oh, that yeah. we just need oh, yeah. to we eliminate had, them as fast as possible before because... uh, Countdown, right? Yeah. Countdown and Trials. Yeah, uh, Countdown and Trials. trials. Yeah. They were being really annoying. Yeah, game one we had no loot, so we needed to push them because we needed to get all the loot from right. Skyhook. So we had to kill them first. Yeah, I mean that's that's really cool. And and you guys said you are um you are you are looking forward to this qualifier. I mean obviously we had a twenty twenty uh, squad lobby tonight. Was that uh really exciting for you guys? Oh it yeah, it was very definitely. it was very cool. It's way better than um the past few scrims with only like thirteen. 20, 20 felt so realistic. I was so excited game one when we, I saw 11 squads, like, fourth ring. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, definitely, uh, definitely for sure. It was, it was a lot of fun. I mean, how did you guys, uh, you guys feel you did? I mean, obviously, you guys said you felt, I mean, falling a little bit short in those first two games, a little bit of Wi-Fi issues plugging you, but, I mean, overall, it seemed like you guys had a pretty, pretty good day overall. Oh, yeah. I think, I think we might have snuck in the top five, but I'm not too <laughs> sure. We might be fifth if we're lucky. Yeah. We'll see what happens yeah. tomorrow. Yep. All, all I gotta say is I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get back to bed. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Well, I that was really good talking to you guys. I appreciate you guys hopping in for this uh, interview. And um, I'm gonna close that stream. If you guys no have problem. any last words to say for chat, go ahead. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, oh. 
So you have too? an S. That's fun playing. Uh, last one, we own Skyhook. I can test this. That's our location. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right. If you want to follow up with Nordic, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Twitch.tv. Yeah. And, and, oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, you're good. You're good. One more time. Twitch.tv slash and alt to follow Nordic <laughs> Alpha. Yeah, to get that twist I'm just saying, right. number one rate of Wyoming, you know? <laughs> <laughs> alright, boys. Thank you for the right, interview. I will right, we'll see you all later. Yeah, later. I'll talk to you later, man. Peace. Alright, there you heard it from Nordic Alpha there. Do not contest them in Skyhook. It is theirs. Obviously, they popped off in that last game. The rat play going absolutely amazing i'm glad we could get that interview again thank you to those players we'll take one final look at these match results again we think it's solo qcs that pop off they win this game <laughs> you hear nordic alpha there talking a little bit how they are looking forward to this qualifier and they they might have snuck into that top you guys five, then so thank you all so much for watching i have been llama 77 and for me and everybody at cgl i will see you all later uh, llama out and i'll see you all next time Bye bye